Hi, my name is Mary. I'm going to show you how to take a piece that I bought at Goodwill. And you can see how long it is, quite long, lots to work with. And we're going to make it into earrings, bracelet, and a necklace. Um, we're also going to be using my husband's tools because all of my jewelry tools are in storage at the moment. We are selling our home. I have one pliers. I have my husband's needle nose pliers with wire cutters in there. I also have another pair, older pair, that I'll probably be using also. Just for those who don't know, when you're using your husband's tools, tools, if you listen, there should be a little rough sounding. That's the teeth in here. And the teeth inside there will actually make and scratch your metal. Okay? This one, which is for jewelry making, and there is tools that are heavy duty, like what men use for working on cars or working on a house or what women use for working on stuff that are smooth. See, I can rub my fingernail on this and you hear nothing. That's the best for your jewelry making. It won't scratch. Okay, got to move my camera. Okay, hopefully you can see this well enough because I honestly can't see what I'm doing. Each section on here, on this necklace, has wire in it. We're not going to cut the wire, okay? But we're going to start with the earrings. And just so you know, I didn't make my fishnet earrings. I went to Walmart and bought a brand called Bead Landing. I've had good luck with it. They're easy to use. They're fairly reasonable. Um, I do the stainless steel because most of the jewelry I work with is uh, silver. Okay. And I also, just in case I needed it, bought some uh, stainless steel pins. These are jewelry pins, not regular sewing pins. The ends are flat, so they won't poke you, poke you. And the top has a hard, almost nail-like top. Okay. Okay, let's start with the earrings. We're not going to cut our wires, so we're going to take the needle nose, and I want the smallest one because it's a very little area, and we're going to pop them open. There we go. See, I didn't break the wires. We popped open the little loop, and we're going to make it a little bit bigger. There we go. That one off. Oh, there we go. And sometimes it is easier with the curved one to take them off like that. I'm going to put that off to the side. Now we're going to do this one. This one's going to be a little different. Because, like I said, we want to keep the hoop. I really don't want to make any, and I have to show you how to do that right now. So, here we go, a little bit bigger, and off we come. All right, now, for now I'm going to take this off so I don't lose it, and we're going to lay it right there. This will be our top. And this is our bottom. I'm not going to get rid of the bottom. We're just going to bend it. Well, we're going to do the best we can. Because we don't want to damage it too much. And we don't want to have to cut wires. So there's one. Let's do this one now. 
Make that open. Off we come. Off we come. This one. Oh, I banked it just a little bit. That's all right. We can straighten it up later. As I said, top, bottom. We're going to. Curve that down. There we go. There's the start of our two earrings. All right. Let's open the package. We're going to get out two earrings. Now, we can either open the end and just hang it there, or we can use, which makes it dangle a little bit better. But because I might need those for something else, like on the bracelets, we're just going to open the hoop on this one. We don't need to do it very much. Just a smidge more. A little bit more. There we go. There we have it on. The nice thing about danglies, we don't really have to have a front and back. So we don't have to worry about which direction we have it go. Okay. Now hoop earrings come in different shapes. I like usually traditional loop. When I'm done with this one, I will show you the shape of these. You can also get products through places like Fire Mountain Gems. They send you a beautiful cover, catalog cover. Okay, look at the shape of the ring. A little different, which is fine. I like that. I kind of like this idea of it being flat. It'll hang a little differently. Now we have two earrings. All right, now we're going to do the bracelet. My idea on the bracelet was to do something pretty simple, something that maybe we didn't have to use a clasp with, but I don't think that's going to work with this. It means it has to be super long. Let's see here. Do this. Nope, that's not going to work. All right. So, we know approximately how long we need it to be. About that long. Two sections. Okay. So, we're going to pop this open. Now, if we wanted, we could make it a double bracelet. But we're not working for that right now. Here's the other thing. This necklace had actually a nice lobster claw clasp. We're going to use that for our end of it. And let's see here. Come on. There we go. Right. We have ah, 
There we go. Couldn't see the hole. All right. We'll put it on there. We're going to close it gently. I like them to be a little bit off, not nose to nose. And then that way you get them nice and close before you actually make them nose to nose. And the wires are touching. Okay. Oh. And it wasn't the piece we just put on that did that. So let's do that again. It's always good to pull a little bit on your pieces to make sure they don't fall apart. Make that a little bit wider. There we go. And like I said, I do like my pieces to be just off a little bit. So we're going to take that and gently with the ones with the uh, wires, we're going to twist it just a little bit. Hold it tightly. We're going to squeeze pieces together. Come on. There we go, a little bit. A little bit more. They're almost across from each other. Okay, now we can tighten it that way. There we go. There we go. Now see they hold. All right. Now we need. Let's see. Did they have a larger hoop for this one? No. So we are going to take and look at the ends. Myself, I think what we're going to do, we're going to use a dangling on this. That way, if our wrist expands with age, we can still wear our bracelet. Okay, there we go. Always watch your cut pieces so you don't end up with them on the floor. Get that off to the side. Okay, we're going to take one of our loops that we saved. We're going to put the dangling on there. Come on. And on there. And it's a little bit across from each other, so we'll tighten that down. There we go. Our bracelet is made. Now you can go and buy other types of clasps. Myself, I just like the lobster claw. I feel safer with them. And you have a pretty little dangly to hang from it. There's your bracelet. Now, since we used our clasp from the, the necklace, on that, we're not going to be able to do the same with this. We're going to need to make something that will actually go over our head. Okay, which you couldn't see me do it, but it did. It went over my head. And we have a pretty end to hang. So let's take one of our loops. By the way, anybody who's looking for a home in Skamania County, Washington, we have 13 acres and three bedrooms, two baths. I'm sorry to say my husband tore down the barn. It wasn't in good shape when we moved on to the property. But we had the house built here. The house is 27 years old. And our realtor is through Windermere. Her name is Penny 
Udman, and you can contact her if you're needing a home. We have deer, we have rabbits galore right now. Plenty of room for horses or cattle. Fair warning, Skamania County, which is part of Stevenson and Carson. They're all very rocky places. Lots of rocks. Lots of stuff that way. Okay. Necklace looks good. I'm going to take the end and do like I did with the earrings. We're going to flatten this. Not going to get rid of it. And depending on the end, sometimes they get very, very sharp. So you want to be careful with them so you don't ruin your clothing. Okay. Anyway, we are been here for 30 years almost, not quite. Kids grew up here. They started kindergarten at Skamini School. Went to Stevenson High School. So there is schools in the area. Fire department's like two miles away, if that. You have well water, septic. There we go. We have a bracelet. We have a necklace. And we have earrings made from one necklace that I bought at Goodwill for $6.99. It's nice enough you could give as a gift. I have a daughter who happens to love blue, so she probably will find this in the mail to her pretty soon. And we have chains and stuff left over for another item. Hmm. Maybe in a couple weeks I'll do another one and we'll use these. This has been Mary. I hope you learn what you could do with secondhand jewelry. That was my purpose. And hopefully we'll see you in another couple weeks. Bye.